Bias or point of view is the perspective or argument taken by the creator of a website, article, or any other type of information. It is how the author wants you to react or a way of thinking the author wants you to adopt. All information has some level of bias. Remember from the presentation on authority that finding the author of a web page helps you understand the agenda. The agenda is the bias and this presentation will show you some specific examples you can use to understand bias when conducting your own research. Again, bias is related to the author and his, hers, or their agenda. Knowing this helps you better understand the bias. Sometimes the bias is very obvious, as when a commercial website selling a product promotes their product is better than all the competitors. Other times the bias is subtle. You could find an online web journal article where a researcher conducts an experiment and interprets the results in only one way. By not offering different reasons for the results, the author is biased towards only one explanation. Now let's look at some specific examples of bias in web pages. We will start with a page from the King Center, a nonprofit organization formed by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s wife. This is the biography page for Dr. King. We will return to this in a moment. We can examine the mission statement to understand more about the authority. It says the King Center is dedicated to the research, education, and training in the principles, philosophy, and methods of Kingian nonviolence. The agenda is to promote Dr. King's way of living. Let's return to the biography where we see phrases such as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a vital figure of the modern era and his wisdom, his words, his actions, his commitment, and his dream for a new way of life are intertwined in the American experience. We can see that this page has a positive bias for the teachings of Dr. King. Let's look at another page, martinlutherking.org. Under the Truth About King link, we find the following passage. Every January, the media go into a kind of almost spastic frenzy of adulation for the so-called Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. King even has a national holiday declared in his honor, an honor accorded to no other American, not Washington, not Jefferson, not Lincoln. Washington and Lincoln no longer have holidays. They share the generic-sounding President's Day. A liberal judge has sealed the FBI files on King until the year 2027. What are they hiding? Let's take a look at this modern-day plastic god. Obviously, the bias is not positive like the King Center page. Authority information for this page is hard to find, but if you notice at the bottom of the main page, there is a link that says, Hosted by Stormfront. If you click on this link, you are taken to a page where it explains that Stormfront is a community of white nationalists. We see the agenda of the author and we can understand the bias even better. Other examples of bias include statements opposing offshore oil drilling and an article from the Greenpeace website. A weight loss website comparing its programs selectively to other weight loss programs and advertisements cleverly disguised as legitimate news stories. Remember that bias is present everywhere. Your job as a researcher is to understand the bias and find the resources that best fit the information need that you have.